This uh, video wishes to explore why the aggregate demand curve slopes downwards. Now, this seems like a fairly basic question, and actually the answer is basic too. But for me, it didn't click to me. Um, I only got it once my teacher explained it. But anyway, I thought I'd do a short video for anybody who was in the same seats as me and thinking, why does the aggregate demand slope downwards? So, if we think about it, on the y-axis we have the price level and the lower the price gets whether it be in a, mi a micro level for um, I don't know the demand of cookies or whether it be on a macro level you know just the general um, aggregate demand basically in an economy um, it will increase as price level decrease and one of the main reasons is because of consumers. If price is full, consumers feel they can buy more and they will consume more. And remember, consumption is 70% of aggregate demand. So um, if aggregate demand is uh, shifting, uh, no, if price, as the price level falls, consumption will go up and therefore so will aggregate demand, so will investment, all of that. But you've got to remember, consumption is 70% of aggregate demand so then aggregate demand will increase now we can all see from a diagram that an increase in aggregate demand will cause an increase in real output or real GDP but how does this in fact actually work this works because if you have more demand then firms will realize this and then they will start producing more and then if economy starts producing more there we have economic growth so that's basically it. It's nothing too clever or anything, but I thought I should do a video just for anyone else who finds himself in the same seats as me. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps and please visit my blog.